These guys, you know, if you watch much at all, then you know how much I dig the refreshments, and here they are. So just how far down do you want to go? Well, we could talk it out over a cup of joe, and you could look deep into my eyes like I was a supermodel. Uh-huh. Trust was saying nothing to no one, no how it would bust and never crack a smile or flinch or cry for nobody. So I'll keep the pieces Yeah, and that seems fair Your shoe? What? Can I ask what happened to your shoe? It, it went off. flying at one yeah, point. It that <laughs> uh, that's funny stuff. You know, it's, it was supposed to be acoustic, but you guys still still give her even when you're supposed to be toned down a bit. I don't think we can tone down. Not yet. <laughs> that sounded fine. Uh, I last talked to you in Cleveland back uh, at the end of May yes. at their Buzzard Fest, and I think it was Brian that got pelted with a mud ball in the private <laughs> parts there. Yeah, that's right. No yeah. permanent damage since well, then? I've still You're got okay? a big old bruise, but... Uh, <laughs> really? But uh, everything's functioning fine. Uh, you, do you care to show it? <laughs> no, no, okay, no, you'll do it. Don't. The, the laws are different. not do camera, that, right? then. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Fizzy, Fuzzy, Big, and Fuzzy.
That's right. Is, is this a little bit of a nod to the Who's meaty, bitty, meaty, bitty, bitty, big and bouncy at all? I guess, I guess somewhere back in the subconscious, but uh, it's just basically kind of a fun thing to say, you know? I certainly listened to the Who growing up and wore that record out, you know, but, uh, but I don't know. It's not a direct reference to it, no. Okay. It was just dumb enough to work, so we went for it. <laughs> now, uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about is this is the first major label debut, okay? You actually had an independent release out called Wheelie, and this is a neat little tidbit for any uh, Pearl Jam fans out there. It sold, outsold Pearl Jam's Vitology in the month of December 94. Sounds impressive, but... It was, it was only in our hometown that okay. that actually worked. <laughs> Eddie Vedder, though, he made a special trip down to take a swing at us, and that, that was quite an honor. You know? That was in, in, where is their hometown? In Tempe, Arizona. And that's probably why the Pearl Jam canceled their world tour Maybe. that time. Maybe got under their skin. Found out this band from... Okay, and I, for me, one of the attractions of the band is you don't take yourself too seriously. There's no angst. There's no posing. Uh, and, and that's quite refreshing these days. It's, it's fun. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the idea, you know? I mean, when, when we got into it, we... Uh... We just, basically, the, the sort of the, the thing that we operated under, the, the main concept of the band was just to kind of do what we wanted to do and not really, you know, take it all that seriously. And it seems to have worked pretty well, you know. Certainly has gone beyond any of our expectations, you know, but we're ha still having a good time doing it. So. We had all been in bands previously that were singing songs about the environment or, uh, you know, injustices here and there. And it, we just weren't cut out for it. And we found that uh, singing songs about drinking beer and, going to Mexico seemed to suit us better, so you, you gotta, gotta go with what's right and honest for you, and that worked at the time, so that's what we are. Why the, why the fascination with Mexico, though? The, um, it's a, there's a couple of references to the... Arizona uh, borders Mexico. This, Mexico's on the south of Arizona, and um, whenever... Just kind of growing up, whenever there's a time to get away, it's, we, everybody goes to Mexico, they go south. I uh, went to school there for a little while, and... Just whenever we have spare time, we like to go down there and kind of get lost. And it's a really, uh, it's a very passionate country. You know, it's very, very different from from uh, what we know in the states. Not just in a lot of ways. It's a great place. Have you seen Dust Dust Till Dawn yet? No. Oh, I rented that the other day. Just there's a bar in that movie. You know the Quentin Tarantino film? Have you oh, seen yeah. it? Oh, can't talk about it if you haven't seen it. Then <laughs> anyway, when I think of Mexico now, I think of that movie and. I don't think it's quite like that. Um, the, the, the flip side of not taking yourselves too seriously, though, is perhaps one of uh, becoming a novelty act. Do you worry about that at all? Yeah, we've heard that recently with the, with the success, of, with a little bit of success with Bandidos. We, uh, we heard, you know, that you know, now you're going to fizzle out or whatever. But, uh, I mean, wherever you are, at, at this stage of the game, wherever you are, there's always something, you know. If we have a good second single, they're going to say, well, they can't make a second record. And if we have a good second record, then they're going to say, mm. well, they're too old to do it anymore. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not something that keeps us awake at night. It's, we just go and play every night. And, uh, yeah, obviously, that's Bud has given it no thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's keeping me awake a little bit, but, you know, who knows? Well, keep it going. Um, I, I, well, I said earlier, one of my favorite songs this summer is Bandito's. And when I play it at home, I sing along with it. I get to the. I used to get to the part about Captain Jean-Luc Picard, where I had no idea what you were singing because there's no lyrics on the album. And so I asked any viewers if they knew the lyrics to uh, send them in. And I was inundated with tons of people who had gotten a hold of your website and you have the lyrics printed on there. So do you? Are you fans of of the web and your website? And how much do you have to, to do with with it? We just had a, a person approach us real early on and said, you know, I know how to do this and I can put your band on this thing and, and it'll be really neat and lots of people will see it. So, uh, so we did it and uh, it's been really successful actually. A lot of people kind of tap into it and, and uh, she does whatever she wants really is, you know, don't get it and go, you know, it's, uh, it's okay. Well, now there's one main one, but a couple of other fans have gotten together and do their own things now, I guess. We don't really get to see it that often because we're usually on the bus. We, we spend a lot of time on the road, so we haven't got a chance to see it. Every once in a while, somebody will bring a print out, you know, and we usually go, wow, that's cool, you know. Didn't, so they go, wow, there's been 17,000 hits in four months. That's, wow, great, thanks. But we don't really get to contribute to them, or we don't know who's, there's one. We don't know who's making them or anything, but it's a good thing. There's, there's the sexy girl from the album cover there we just saw. She's very sexy, this girl on the album cover.
this, this, this artist's rendering. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to feature brand new. We just got this this week, Down Together. And I, I don't know who said this, but you described this as this is the epitome of the band and what they stand for. This video or this song. Did we say is that? Is this what you wow. stand for, Raj? I think this is you, Brian. Oh, no. I think I this is what Bud stands for. There's a, there's the, the guitar solo part is definitely, there's, there's something archetypal there for Brian. And the chimp is in there? Oh, yeah. Okay. The chimp's in there. It's a big part of it. Thanks for coming by. You know, Thanks we got to plug some dates. Because uh, you're going to be in Southern Ontario over the next few days. Tonight being Wednesday. Say Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. Uh, c and &E Bandshell here in Toronto. And then tomorrow being Thursday at the Horseshoe just down the street on Queen Street here. And then Friday in Hamilton. And then Saturday in Kitchener, home of Lulu's, the world's biggest bar. All right. We'll Looking be forward right to that. there. Okay. <laughs> okay uh, this is brand new. Refreshments down together on much. <laughs> 